<laughs> All right, welcome back to another Give It A Shot. Yay! Where we give things a shot. Yes, indeed. Oh, golf cart. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, today, <clears throat> this is totally another day. Not the same exact day oh, no. as yeah, last yeah. time. Like, uh, once again, we're all poor. We just wear the same clothing yeah, every single day. It's true. Yeah. It's actually a week later. Oh, 100%. Yeah. All right, so today we have Modite made in Canada. Uh, what was the, Canada. the location again? Uh, Uden, Uden Ch Brett. Chambly, oh. no, Chambly, Quebec, Canada. Yeah. All right. Made QC, by so. Udenbro. 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 Same and company that made the La Fin de Mandou. Yeah, and we really liked those. Yeah. This one's a Belgian style double ale. Mm -hmm. And it's 8% alcohol by volume. It's pretty high. Yeah. I like and it. says, what I thought was cool about this, we saw this, is it's all, it's, uh, this is ale brewed with spices. And yes. so it's bottle re fermented, which is really interesting. Yes. So they did it again. Yeah. Oops, <laughs> they did it again. <laughs> re fermented it. In the bottle. Yeah. In the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what the bottle looks like. So you can see what we're, it is that we're looking at here. So if you see this at your beer Neck store, of the woods. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a cap uh, uh, design. Probably but not. You're since, they, find out in a second. since they covered it up, I, I very much doubt that they... Oh, no. There, there is. Oh. Huh? Uh, they want it to be fancy, so yeah. they it's, put uh, aluminum foil, and then there's a design yeah. under the aluminum foil. Yeah, Here, let me get a little photo of that so I can show it off. Try and get all the glue off of it. What is uh, what's the uh, is it a letter or something? Yeah, so it's uh, the letter for their uh, their oh. uh, name. U. So it's you. It's for, you. For Udenbro. Udenbro. If we're pronouncing that okay. correctly. Unibro. I don't know. I, I, I'm just guessing. Unibro. That looks pretty oh. good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Though. Bro. Nice and... Okay. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Unibro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Not making fun of their name. I, I truly love all their beer so far that we've tasted. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. I've so, actually um, had the one that you guys were talking yeah, about. Yeah. So 8% alcohol by volume yeah. for an ale. That's that's pretty nice. Yes, I think that's nice. So is it double? Did I say it was a double? It was double, double yes. Cool. Yeah, so double doubles. Ale. I like doubles. So I usually like doubles. Let's do it! Yeah. I can't, I can't adult a day. Just do it! I adulted big time yesterday. Let your I used dreams it all come true and do it! Do it. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Look at these kind of shook the camera. Refermented and everything. Oh, yeah. Capiche. Oh, yeah. I'm spewed it a little bit. <laughs> oh, got a little bit of that. That one did it better, uh, for, and it's still, still doing it. Still doing it. <laughs> yeah. It kind of shot up Very a little cool. bit. All right. I don't know what the hell that is, oh. but I lick it anyway. How about, how about you pour it and now film okay. the pouring? Oh, the Oasis. I thought you were talking to me. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just go. On, I'll just leave. Hey. Uh, I'm shooting. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Woo! That's what I expected. It would, it would uh, do a lot of head. So we might have to let, let that rest oh. a little bit. But man, look at that. That's, That's really, really, really interesting. These are, Ooh, the color is really nice inside. These are also Let's try twist that one caps. More time. Okay. Nope. It doesn't matter which way I pour it. Yeah, it's going to be frothy. Good. <laughs> frothy, frothy. I, I think actually that's about the same. Yeah. <clears throat> I hear it fizzing a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of carbon. So it's very there. carbonated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, do you see any sediments? Uh, very little. There should be since it's uh, re-fermented in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, the only problem is, is like the the sediments are probably at the bottom. At the very bottom. Yeah, I don't what see I, anything. What I I should have done an, I should have done an easy tip before I uh, opened it up. Right. But actually, it being so hot. Uh, Ferment, uh, um, sorry, so carbonated? Yeah. It'll uh, probably. Yeah, hostile. <laughs> Whatever it is. That would look kind of cool all three oh. of them right here. Yeah. I gotta look at all the head. Oh, so, wow, the head is not going down. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah that's frothy as hell. I like that. I like, I like when that I golden see that. color that it is. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's, nice it's almost and, like an amber color. Nice and bubbly, too. Mm -hmm. Not giving uh, any disc like negatives to the, uh, the black beer we just had uh, right. last week. We yeah. just had last week. Yeah, last but week. Uh, this one is definitely staying. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, stuff. A lot more, uh, <laughs> staying stuff. The, the head but, stays. Uh, but this is made a different way. And, and also, it's 
made literally on the same continent. It doesn't have to get shipped from yeah. from Brazil. So. That's true. Yeah, yeah. but oh, right on. I want it. I want right. it. I want it. I want Let's it. give it a smell, guys. Oh. Ooh, wow. That Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely an ale. Yeah, yeasty. That, yeasty, that Belgian yeast. Okay, so the Belgian yeast is a, a, a very distinctive smell. So you know it when you smell it. It's mm -hmm. kind of hard to d explain it, except for it's the only thing I can do is say mm. it's Belgian. Yeah, <laughs> it's Belgian yeast. Yeah. You know what I want to do? I want to go to Belgium and have some bread. Oh, dude, oh. their bread's got to be amazing. Yeah. yeah. If they use the same yeast to make bread as they do to make beer, yeah, it's, it's the thing. <laughs> that's probably amazing. Well, oh, it smells, it smells delicious. Smells great. It doesn't smell like it's going to be uh, strong like the eight percent though. I don't no. get that. No, I, I, you, can't, you definitely can't smell. It might not even that. taste like it's eight percent. It'll it'll probably taste like uh, like a regular Belgian kind of yeah, really yeah. Uh, hope malty, so. really nice malty yeah, taste yeah. to it. So I hope that there's some like dried fruit right. going on and things yeah. like that. So well. It has spices in it, yeah. so oh, so I might hoping... not get all the, the fruity stuff. We'll yeah. get spices yeah. instead. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping it, it'll remind me yeah. of like a uh, a winter ale or something. Oh man, yeah. so, because winter ales are brewed with spices, right? So that's what I'm hoping this will. Let's right. do it. Let's do Give it, it a shot, guys. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. Mm. Okay. It doesn't taste that no, strong. It doesn't. But I could tell that drinking there. a few of these yeah. would, would hurt. It would probably <laughs> it probably <laughs> knock you on your ass. I gotta be honest with you. But it doesn't taste very strong. It no. just, it's not like a, there's no turnoff from like oh no, no, it's no, gonna no. come in. But so, so delicious. There's a smoothness mm -hmm. and a tartness. It, the tartness comes at the end. It does. It does. But the sweetness and the smoothness right there mm -hmm. in the front. I think the tartness is part of the alcohol that we're tasting. And honestly, like you know, this reminds yeah. me of this. Um, busy though. It, I mean, it's it's uh, it's it kind of reminds me of what are those ones called? Uh, Triples. No. The new Belgian. Well, those triples. two, but no, the uh, what are they called? It's from the, the guys that make fat tire. Those guys. No, it's it's like uh, what is it called? It's no, no. It, it's 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 a Belgian beer. It's a, it's a Belgian by or a trapeze. It's a Belgian style beer, style beer, but I just can't remember the name of it. It's it's like um, it's there. It's right there. It's right there, mm -hmm. dude. It's, it's right, right there. there. Yeah, I know. I so when you figure it out, yeah, splurt it out. Yeah, yeah. I know we're trying. Try, but oh, oh, like, what is it? Is it? <laughs> I got it. I got it. It's in the middle of the. Oh, I forgot it. As you just take the bottle and smash it over your head, like <laughs> eh. okay. Um, I doubt this will change anything really, but no. It's, no. But hey, you know so what? I do Give get a, a nice malty, sweet flavor with a oh, little yeah. bit of tartness that comes at there the end go. for yeah. some weird reason. That's kind of strange. So so far, I like that. Maybe a pretzel will change that. Mm -hmm. Maybe, just maybe, we'll taste more of if they use any hops in it. Well, beer needs hops. There's hops. Otherwise, it would just be. 100% sweet. Sweetness. Yeah. Unless they used a lot of uh, yeast inside of it to eat the sugar. There's still, there's still sweetness. They still I want to get rid something. of it. Something. Yeah. Well, hops. Hops is. It seems like if you make beer, you could probably go with very few hops, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't taste very good. Mm -hmm. It'd kind of be dull. I like hops. hops. Mm -hmm. uh, I like hops for the flavor, yeah. not so much for the acidity to make right. it bitter. Right. I mean, I, I guess you need that to take away the, the sweetness. Mm -hmm. But I mainly like dry some, hopping. Some people go really crazy with the the bitter yeah. oil, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and uh, a certain amount of that is needed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's try it. Okay. Now that we've done that. Okay. 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 Mm. It changed it a little bit. It did. Now it's a little bit more tart. Yeah, I was gonna tart. say you don't. Yeah, you don't taste that sweetness anymore. I mean, I mean the sweetness is mainly, still there. It's not very mainly sweet. alcohol taste. Yeah, yeah. that's it's, when you really yeah. taste the, the strength yeah. of the to, beer. Yeah. So to be honest with you, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but yeah, I kind of. I would I would kind of say don't eat this with a salty <laughs> snack. I would say just yeah, kind of drink it. Yeah, I would just say just drink it by itself. And yeah. Just kind of sit there. And that's kind of weird for me because I don't like liquor because of the, the alcohol is so prominent. Yeah. yeah. But I kind of like this with the pretzel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, hey, yeah. Well, which own, too, yeah. To me, it doesn't taste like alcohol strength. It tastes like just tartness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's interpreted as like that, like. Like what? It, what? It, yeah. Might what, be. It, what it might be. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty good. I still like it though. I mean, it doesn't but, take away from it. It just. But the tartness is still now after you let the pretzel kind of a, a couple of sips in, it washes away the pretzel. Yes, yeah. it's coming back. The sweetness is coming. The sweetness back. is coming back. So it's really nice. It, mm -hmm. it uh, the. 
Do you get the spices? I can't tell what the spices are. I can't. It Dude, it just spice, it, but... it just screams at me. Uh, Do a burp. A, a Do a burp. Triple. You'll taste yeah. some spices in there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just, that's what I just did. <laughs> maybe that aftertaste is res residue of the spices? Probably, yeah. Do you get a little aftertaste like, yeah. afterwards? Yeah, that gets uh, almost like a... Shoot, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, like a... Maybe a little bit of nutmeg? That's what I was gonna say. Like maybe a nutmeg. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe a little. There's bit. something that lingers afterwards, and that could be the spices. Yeah. yeah. Tasty though. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. It's very good. Yeah. But I was expecting that from these the, from these people. Yeah. You know, because their other beers are really tasty. Th this taste reminds me of their other beers. Yeah. There's something about it that's like that's it's just that, it's that their style. signature. Yeah, yeah. It's their signature. Right. You know? Right. I would, I would be, it. I would be terrible about taste testing any kind of Belgian because it would pour them all in a glass. Be like, yep, they all taste. They the all same taste to the you. same. So what is, yeah, what I is mean, that one that's if a, I really the, practice, the like fin probably de Monday or yeah, yeah, they, uh, La so, fin de Madu. This, yeah, that one. This one, this has a resemblance to that one. It does, but, it does. but the aftertaste <clears throat> is different. That's yeah. what makes this one different. A little bit more different yeah. spices. And the other ones, those it's were triples nine, too. And this is only that one's nine percent. Yeah. So those are triples. One more. Yeah, it's a triple instead of a double. So, so one more really extra nice. from it. Really, so. really good. All right. All right. So yeah. try, try it where we drink a whole so bunch of a whole so bunch. We have a, we have a theory. And the theory is is that a whole bunch of this stuff over our taste buds at once might make it taste different. And the mm -hmm. last beer we did, that was true. It was. And it, it was, was really actually true. really good, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So kind of nice. So you never know. I remember. Drinking it all, slamming it. <laughs> <laughs> might, might, might make it good yeah. or might make it bad. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Honestly, with a, with a beer like this, especially Chime A, I mean, we do it just because we have to do it, but I would love just to linger with it and enjoy it. Oh, yeah, sit there and just, just yeah, for, yeah, if you've got enough forever. If you've got a couple glasses, yeah. do it. Slam one. <laughs> this is my slamming glass, and these are my enjoying glasses. <laughs> yeah, oh, these are my slamming glasses, and this is my enjoying glass. Yeah. Yep. Single, but I slam the other one. So we're going to get nice and toasted up first mm -hmm. it tastes a certain way when you drink it that way Woo. all right let's, <laughs> Woo. All right, let's do it all right. all right down the hola bichola thanks for watching Ooh, wow that's good yeah spice that is good i got i kind of get some of the spices now yeah Ooh. spice and sweetness mm -hmm. yeah no tartness but no tartness i want to say it's i want to say it's nutmeg but i don't know what it, it is i know i know what is that spice i don't know I don't know that much about spices. Me neither. I but really it don't. does have a, a spicy like when you like if you have pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. you, you can tell that there's spices in there. It's not just pure pumpkin. Yeah. No. But it's, it, what kind of spices a, do you put in there? A pumpkin pie. There. It's usually well. What are the what I used? But what they do is they mix pumpkin. They they mix pumpkin with it, and then they mix mm. uh, nutmeg. And mm. then uh, so cloves. Oh, and, cloves and cloves. Cloves. I think that's one of the things I might be tasting. There, there could be cloves. And yeah. yeah. So, so they mix those three to make pumpkin spice. Pumpkin what spice. All, what What does allspice oh. go in? So allspice is pretty much just like with nutmeg, pumpkin, okay. and yeah. and same thing. So cloves. you never know. There could be some of all of those things in there. Yeah. So, yeah. But I can't put my finger on it. But it's something like that. Mm. It's yeah. like. You know, if they took it away, it would be a, huh? But yeah. Then, but now that it's in there, it's like, but, but I don't know what it is. It's yeah. like that one like <laughs> So, So we're having it without, let's say, the nutmeg, and you're drinking it, it's like, hmm, okay. Yeah. They add that nutmeg into it, it's like, oh! Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> that little bit. Wow, yeah, I can't little little put bit. my finger yeah. on what it is. But yeah, I really like it. Bit. So, yeah. you want to start with, let's well, start with one of you. I like going <laughs> from that way over this way. So, one. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, Chris, I'm going to say I kind of enjoy it a little bit. <laughs> It was kind of tasty, but you know I don't know. It was beer. It was kind of tasty. You just a beer, though. It's a beer. Yeah, a beer. No. Um, I give it a humongous thumbs up. Yeah, humongous. I I really enjoyed it. Um, this one I think was up there. I think it was either three ninety nine or four ninety nine for one for one bottle. Yeah. But honestly, I think it's worth the price. Oh. I think so too. Yeah, that, that was fun to drink. Mm. Um, one hundred percent enjoyed it. These last couple sips are going to be fantastic because that's where all the sediment is. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. re-fermented. Re mm. So it was fermented one time. Mm -hmm. Probably they were like, yeah, it's probably good. it's not good enough. <laughs> it's, it's fermented, fermented again. again. Oh my god, again. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I give it a big thumbs up. Right. I enjoyed it. Thumbs up. Hello. Um, 
Sorry, I was looking for that one beer. I was taking down. Anyways, oh, I still haven't figured it out. I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> it's on. The, it's on the tip of my head. Like yeah. we just had it like a while back, and yeah. it has like a white label to it. It's not. It's not a triple though. Huh? Um. Anyway, that'll be that'll be in the next episode. So watch that to figure out what that beer um, is. Anyways, uh, I really I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, as far as German style beers go, I mean, th- this one tasted a little bit different. This is only... actually uh, not German. This is uh, Belgium. So Belgian. Sorry, style. Belgium. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so as far as a Belgian style beer goes, because the Belgian yeast tastes a lot different. Made in than, Canada. Yeah. So, yeah, it, but Canada. honestly, it's really good. I enjoyed it because mm-hmm. I've only had a few Belgian style beers, yeah. and mm-hmm. uh, this one this one actually is pretty good. Yeah, I, we like them, but we don't get a, there's no, we don't we haven't really had a large variety of no, Belgian style beers. The ones we have are usually not from Belgium. No, they're American. Not. They're not. They're, they're American. The, made the, uh, couple the, the, the closest that. one we get to is the Chime, which is actually true yeah. traps. Or how about that one that was the uh, St. Bernardus? Well, ABT, that one also, was yeah. Was that ABT 12? Was yeah. One that one was delicious. I believe. Was yeah. that, is that an actual true trapeze, though? I can't uh, remember. No. And it's not. But it was to imitate one. It is ah, to imitate one? Yeah. yeah. But that would, I, because that means that's one really that freaking one good. got shut yeah. down. Well, I, you could be wrong about that. Maybe that mm. one is a, a trap. Yeah. But, but it was, to, it, that, that particular beer was imitating a one that was really, really grand and mm. uh, dropped off. Then nobody, and the only they had was, uh, uh, nobody had the recipe. And uh, so they kind of like guessed on the recipe. And the people that still had some of that original beer and against the ABT 12, and the people who thought, I'll know the difference. And they're like, this is the one. I love this. This is great. And it was the. the, 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 the <laughs> That's so, great. Pretty awesome. So nice try. Great. Nice yeah. try. <laughs> but, uh, anyways. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, no, def- I would definitely um, drink, drink this again because it's really good. I'm going to have to give it a big thumbs up. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Especially because, like I, like I said, I really don't drink very many Belgian style beers. And, and, yeah. Oh, it actually has IBUs on here too. It does. It's uh, 22. 22. It's which really? is totally missed yeah, that. It's, which you can't. That's and that, that's the reason why it's, there's really not. Much so there is. To it. There is. There is uh, hops in it then. Okay. Yeah. In but order to get an, an IBU. Yeah, up yeah, to yeah. that. But it's. I mean, honestly, 22. It's like non-existent. I know that, that. That actually sounds like a high number yeah. compared to what it tastes like. Yeah, yeah I don't taste. Yeah, much. you don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Chris. Cool. Thumbs up for me because I already like. it. Belgian style. So once I get the taste of that yeast, I'm all in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they really put this one where you know with the spice to it and everything. And uh, I had their other um, beers, and they were really good. The triple and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So big thumbs up because awesome. it tastes really, really good. And price wise, yeah, it's more expensive than regular beers, but yeah. not too much. It's no. still worth it. I think it. Yeah, it's, it's still definitely worth it. worth it. Just like Chime. I, mean, yeah. I, I would. We saw one today, which you probably you might have seen on the beginning of the episode, or not. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways. It was a Chime, but it was like 44 bucks per bottle. Oh, wow. It was a big yeah. bottle. Though. It was Bigger a big a bottle. Regular. Yeah. I forget <laughs> what it was. Though. Like It had, was like aged in something <laughs> yeah. or some crap like that. It was but done, done, but done good. <laughs> those ones are totally worth Whoa. the money. Found it? You know what it is? You Home to... Garden. Oh, Home Garden. Oh, Home Garden. Yeah. yeah. That's what it reminded me yeah. of. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. good stuff. Yeah. I, um, that actually, because that's a... That's a that, Cheap, but it's an inexpensive beer. Yeah, it's like yeah. I think it's that twelve bucks. Yeah, for a six pack. Yeah, which right. is not bad. And you that's can get that in the regular bucks. grocery stores. Yeah, usually, yeah. Well, not usually. You, I found it there before. Yeah, yeah but Whole Garden's good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. So like you didn't that. have to wait until next. Week. <laughs> we got. Sorry, it. I found <laughs> it. I found it. I saw it. Yeah. All right. Well, don't forget to look down below and uh, and then click that subscribe button if you haven't done that. As a, and then there's a little bell there. And if you say all, or I think it is, that way you you get notified of everything that we yeah uh, we send up are a new doing. Yeah, do it or something like that. Right. And uh, also there look is some merch, and so there's a little category down there in the description. Yeah. You can yeah. uh, uh, check out some merch. We yeah. also have a Patreon yeah. page, so if you want to help us out, you can uh, help support the channel. Go there. Yeah. And, uh, and we can buy more beer. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. can buy more beer. Keep this <laughs> going because this is one of the things we love yeah. to do. At well, least do it more often. Yeah. yeah. We can only do it so often. Right. Exactly. So uh, that's all we got for for now. Next week we've got more stuff coming. Yeah. All right. So that's all we got for now, and we'll see you next time. Ladder. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little challenge.